I'm Paul Daddy from Paul Daddy's Blind Hole Barbecue, and today I'm doing a quick review on the Jerky Gun Kit from Meet Your Maker. Now, this video is not sponsored, and I bought the Jerky Gun, and I'm not compensated for any products used in the video. Meet Your Maker sells directly to the buyer, cutting out the middleman. So Meet Your Maker makes a line of commercial grade processing equipment. And this company is part of the American Outdoor Brands. AOB is a spinoff from Smith & Wesson Brands, Inc. So you may not be familiar with Meet Your Maker, but this is a company with an American pedigree. Now Meet Your Maker products come with a limited lifetime warranty, and as long as they aren't misused or abused, then they're under warranty. This jerky gun has an aluminum tube that holds up to one and a half pounds of jerky. You also get a cleaning brush. The kit has a round nozzle for making snack sticks and a flat nozzle for jerky. Of course, the instructions are included. Now, it should be washed before using, and the dishwasher is not recommended for the jerky gun, but I have washed my nozzles in the dishwasher, and they turned out fine. If you press on the rear plunger release, then you're able to pull the plunger back. This jerky gun is competitively priced. It's definitely heavy duty, and it holds a whole lot more than some of the competition. Now, I just happen to have some ground pork that I've previously ground up, so we're gonna give this jerky gun a try. And for the record, I'll be using the curing soft along with Legs Old Plantation Pepper Jerky Seasoning. I like to mix my seasoning and the curing salt with a few ounces of water and then pour this solution into the ground pork and then give it a thorough mix. Now, as you may or may not know, the curing salt requires between 12 and 24 hours to protect the meat from Clostridium botulinum bacteria and that's the bacteria that can cause botulism. The curing salt is considered an insurance policy. Ground meat's at much higher risk than a steak or a pork chop, and the danger zone for food temperature is considered between 40 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and the jerky making process, it's gonna be a while before you get your meat up past that temperature, so you're gonna be in the danger zone for a while. That's why we use the curing salt. Okay, with all this in mind, the pork, the seasoning, and the curing salts are all mixed up, and then I'll bag it up, vacuum seal it, refrigerate it. I'm giving mine 24 hours to cure. And now that we've given it 24 hours to cure, it's time to test the gun. Pull that plunger all the way back, remove the ring lock, and we need to fill the tube. So rubber gloves will help keep your hands nice and clean, but they also help keep from getting further contamination into the meat. And a good way to fill this tube is to take a handful of meat, shape it into a long, slender log, kind of like the shape of your tube, and then begin filling the tube, and then work the meat in until it's full. Install the ring lock with your jerky nozzle, and I'm using so-called seafood racks for my Cook Shack electric smoker, but they look a lot like jerky racks to me. Now, this jerky gun works exactly like a caulking gun, so this is very easy, and it's a lot easier than what I anticipated. Now, the little bit of water that I added probably smooths out the flow of the meat coming out the gun, but it may add a little bit of time to the dehydrating process. So I would consider that it's even easier if I wasn't making a video. So I'm using scissors to cut the jerky at the end of each row, and this would be the perfect job if you got some little kids that you want to get involved, then they can give you help and they can work the scissors for you. Now, as you can see, it's very efficient. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. If you keep everything as cold as possible, then even the cleanup's gonna be a breeze. So the bottom line, if you're considering a jerky gun, then I recommend the jerky gun kit from Meet Your Maker. Now, all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>